First of all, a record response, a record response again. 854 businesses from Greater Manchester are responding to the survey. It enables us to speak with real confidence about what's going on in the local economy, but much, much sooner than some of the official data comes out. So we're actually ahead of the game when we're putting forward policy measures. So I'm very aware of the conditions that businesses are in. But what I think is that we need to nurture confidence. We've made forceful arguments for infrastructure investment, not in the last few months, last year. Last summer, we were arguing that the Bank of England should look at using its quantitative easing programme for infrastructure investment in the regional economies. I'm encouraged by the results. There are some positive signs, some really good positive signs that we can take forward. And, and I think given some of the, uh, the slowdown that we saw as a result of the Eurozone uncertainty towards the end of last year, actually this quarter's results are perhaps a little better than you might have expected. The regional economy is seeing growth and there are employment <coughs> opportunities so we need to strengthen that message. I've always been a strong advocate of the importance of the Manchester City region as a real identifiable economic powerhouse that uh, we should... Uh, make more decisions and more powers should be delegated to it and more things should be done at the sort of coalface of the economy in a, in a city like Manchester than at you know, no NWDA level or government level. The northern economy is very, very important to the British economy and it also has lots of opportunity in terms of resources availability and all sorts of other things. The Institute for Public Policy Research North um, is the dedicated northern based think tank uh, linked to um, the Institute for Public Policy Research in London. I think we're the only Westminster based think tank that does have a proper physical presence outside of London and uh, we have offices uh, both in Newcastle and in Manchester and um, are very proud of the fact that we focus primarily on uh, local policy, sub-regional policy. Our emphasis is very much on city regions and uh, and those sub-regional economies. So although we're doing work across the whole of the north of England, um, we very much get and believe in the logic of Greater Manchester, Greater Leeds, etc. Myself and the team are going to lock ourselves away following this meeting over the next couple of days uh, and look at putting together our quarter three action plan for action for business. That also includes the activity and support, including communications. We're going to get that out to our councils and committees and across membership through the website. We're going to open up that access and get more engagement going in. We're going to keep it refreshed and updated. We've also got party conference season coming up in September and October. We've got the Labour Party here in the first week in, in October and we're going to look at how we can uh, begin to do stuff there as well as at Lib Dems and the Conservatives. And we've also got our quarterly MPs briefing at the end of, of next quarter as well, which is now really beginning to, to develop a real head of steam. And some of those MPs are saying this is actually the best opportunity we've got as Greater Manchester MPs cross-party to come together and discuss issues that are affecting business. There's nobody else doing that for them at the present moment in time. We are. <laughs> Thank you.